Parallel robots are used a lot in industry when serial robots are not applicable. To compare parallel robots to serial robots, the serial robots are the ones that we've covered for most of the semester. So they're open chain, there's one actuator on each joint, and if you know the angle of each of those, you know the pose at the tip. The serial robots are less accurate than parallel robots because the error compounds at every joint and they're less stable because you're pushing against one thing instead of several. So parallel robots are closed chain. Their forward kinematics are harder because if you just know the position of each joint, then it's not, it, it, there can be multiple solutions for the end effector. But the inverse kinematics are easier because like for any single position of that platform, you know exactly what the leg lengths have to be. They are more accurate because the errors cancel out instead of adding. And they're more stable because just thinking about it, you've got lots of legs to push against as opposed to just one. Their workspace is smaller. So whereas a serial robot has practically a spherical workspace that goes all the way around it, a parallel robot's workspace is generally within the envelope of its size. And they are underactuated. So not every joint has an actuator. And that's okay because, for example, on this one, then um, the, like if you know the position of each of these linear actuators, there are some spherical joints at each of the connections on the top and on the bottom. And we don't really care the position of those, and we don't need to control them either. They're just going to be whatever they have to be once the actuator moves. <laughs> 